What the f is going on? I like to party. Jesus, honey, wax much? This is Unwaxed. Get in, Lizzie. We're going shopping. With Sophia and Sistine Stallone. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Unwaxed podcast with your favorite sisters, Sophia. Or should I say, the fighting sisters. We're not fighting. You saw we were fighting. <laughs> we are fighting. You're giving me the silent the treatment. Whole, you know what's funny is that she considers me hyping her new relationship potentially that might happen up, as in stop being overthinking it. He's sending hearts. It's so sweet. And then you're like, stop, chill. No, this is why I'm like, I say stop and chill. Because unless there has been one verbal confirmation from the man that we are in a relationship, I'm afraid of jinxing it. And two... I always find myself getting way too excited. And then for if some reason... So it, it has nothing to do with me. It's you worried about no, it and but not I mean, me being excited about it. I'm excited about it too. I talk to you all the time. That's, I just don't like every person that comes into our apartment speak. It's Sistine has a boyfriend. Never even asked she, to be exclusive yet. It doesn't matter. It's, but it's like, it just, just tranquilo. That's okay, it. I will stop saying it from here on out. I won't bring him up. I won't talk about it until it actually <gasps> well, happens. See, now you're just trying to no, be like... No, I'm being serious. Uh -uh -uh. I Every time I bring it up, you get like mad about it. And I'm so happy for you. I'm that not I'm mad. Just, I'm, I'm like, oh, basically, I'm I get, your boyfriend. Because it's like my boyfriend. Because whoever you're dating, I'm dating. I'm sorry? In the friendship way. <laughs> So, we, share. we share. We share. We share. He's going to end up at our apartment 24-7 and I don't leave the apartment. I just so. get nervous because I don't want anything to happen. And then you tell all these people and then something happens. Then and they're all like, oh. I get That's not. First of all, you guys, I have never <sighs> casually called anybody that you were seeing anything like that. I'm probably the most protective of Sistine because I'm the older sister. I actually say to her, Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's a red flag. This is this. Have I ever, in the duration of your dating history since we've been in New York, ever said anything like this? No. no. But, so, but I've also never gone on two dates with the same no, person since living she here. Could, but even in the past, have I ever said that? No. Maybe with the ex. Yes. Probably just, by the way, not even him. I didn't even say that. Well, I don't because you, you were 50 50 about it. But like, for me, I was just excited. I've seen, you know, when you just know, you know, obviously I'm not in the relationship. So obviously, yeah. you, know, you know, it doesn't work for me. But from an outside standpoint, you just know when you know, you know, someone puts in the effort. There's the easiness. There's the chat. And look, yes, jinxing, which is not real, can happen. And people believe in that. But I just get excited for you. And then you get mad at me for getting excited about it. So I will stop getting excited about it until... No, you can be you excited. Know, just stop I'm, telling people he's my boyfriend. I said he's her <laughs> not boyfriend, boyfriend. I Listen, said that if every anyone time. wants a boyfriend, it's this girl sitting right here. It's been a very long time since my last relationship. So maybe that's why I'm feeling a little extra nervous and anxious. Also because it's working so seamlessly that I'm thinking, when's the ball going to drop? Yes. So obviously I understand that because I get nervous about, you know, new relationships too, or just a new thing that I really like and I'm invested in. But I don't know. Let me be very clear to the listeners in the audience here. They've already committed to plans in May. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming that this is going to be a long-term thing. So me saying not boyfriend, boyfriend, See, stressing her out. And then she's getting mad at me saying, I'm the one that's fighting with her, quote, quote, quote. Okay, you know how you know how people. Thank you, thank you. I've, I literally, <laughs> literally, when it comes to dating, <laughs> I should be a lawyer. I can pull out so many receipts that prove my point that you're overthinking. Guilty. Seriously, I'm feeling attacked. But I, I hear what you're saying. Um, but you know how people say that it drives me nuts. Okay, relax. <laughs> so you know how people annoying. say that women shouldn't um, rush men in a relationship and that you shouldn't rush the conversation of being in a relationship or rush the marriage talk or whatever because it's going to make men sort of slowly backslide and yes. they feel almost, oh, it's too much pressure. What's interesting about this person that I'm talking to, it's he's the one doing all those things. Yeah. So I'm like, am I backsliding right now? Because I'm like, oh my God. I don't think you're backsliding. I just think you need to just lean into it. Like literally last episode, we were saying oh, we don't give 100% of our hearts. And then you were even saying, and like Chris was like, I can see that. You push away, men lean in more because they don't know where they stand with you. Yeah. This is a situation where it is 
blatantly clear that someone's interested. And I think, ladies, gentlemen, if someone is putting in the effort and you can blatantly see that it's a genuine interest, do not try to self-sabotage. That is stupid. I understand you could get hurt. Everyone gets hurt in this kind of game. But it's better the to just The game be, of love. The game of... Ew. <laughs> but it's better to just lean in rather than push I it agree. away. You know what I think the secret sauce is? Mm. The Krabby Patty formula? What? Listen, I think starting out as friends is the best way to organically jump into a relationship. Because we were friends for a long time and yeah. both of us were afraid of messing up the friendship. Mm -hmm. um, but that way... I always say when you go on a first date with someone, you're putting out the best version of yourself. So we'll speak for you and me. Like we have our best outfit on. Our hair looks perfect. We are trying to be seductive and mysterious, but also intellectual and cute and approachable and a good listener. Like you're, you're using all of your go-to date lines and like the same stories that you share on dates. Just everything to try to impress the other person. Yeah. Whereas if you start as a friend with a guy, like the first 10 times we hang out, we're all together, sweatpants, no makeup. I'm not trying to put on mm -hmm. this version of someone to like me. Yeah. And that almost is the best way to go about it because they're already seeing, okay, we like you in your natural, normal, comfortable yes. catfish state. And if they like that version of you, they'll love the other one. Look, not everyone has that luxury. I don't have any guy friends. so <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because like. every time you talk to a guy, the first thing your brain goes to is, could I date him? Or could I, or, or could I make out with him? Or could I make out with him? Like for you, don't like, blame me. <laughs> you know how people don't hate the player. No, no, no. It's fine. You know how people. It's such a pick me comment, but oh, it's a um, like you know how people are like, oh, well, like I'm a girl's girl, or they say I'm a guy's girl. Yeah. And everyone says that if you're a guy's girl, you're just a pick me. Yeah. But I've always had more guy friends. Mm -hmm. Um, not that I didn't want more girlfriends. I really do. But you've always had more girlfriends. Yeah, I'm a so girl's girl. Blurring girl those girl. lines for you might just be impossible. I just, yeah, no, no. I look, I, not that I can't be friends with guys, and I wouldn't say that what Sistine just said about it's me. So it's true. like every time. No, I, look, look, if a guy and I have a connection, like I'm not gonna not shoot my yeah, shot. Yeah, he's, but, it's every time, unless you're just not, you know, physically no, attracted to him. I just, look, for me, <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. I've never just had casual guy friends. I've always wanted casual guy friends, but I've just been a, I think having sisters for me personally and being the oldest, like I've just related to girls more and I love girl talk. Like I love being around women and I love, you know, just yeah. having a big group of girlfriends. Also not having a lot of girlfriends growing up just really pushed me to do that. But well, you had college, which helped a uh, College lot. helped a lot. I mean, high school helped a little bit, but anywho. Yeah, I think because I mean, you, and I do this too, but when you're around guys, you accidentally are flirtatious and they always think, oh my God, she's coming on to me. She wants I me. I am flirtatious, but so subtly. Like it's not. So I'm just never the way out. you talk to people, like even you'll talk to me and I'm like, are you flirting with me? <laughs> like Ew. you just, excuse me? <laughs> I said, Ew. I wouldn't want you either. <laughs> Let's get that clear. No, you are I know. not I'm my just like, I hope you don't think I'm hitting on you. But I'm just saying that's how you talk to people. Like you're very engaged. You look very deep in their eyes. And then you always do this little <laughs> giggle. Like everyone, and you always touch their arm or their chest. You I touch my I'm arm so all the touchy. time. I'm like, what are you trying I to am What are you trying to do? But going back, I'm just saying with you and the circumstance. No more no, about me. No, I, we're not. But I'm just saying in general, I think like Chris knows this. Does a guy pretty much know right off the bat if this guy, girl is going to be in a relationship with him, like, or a try to be in the sense that- <gasps> The box theory. The box theory. Like you put a girl in one category, it's either you're gonna hook up with her, you're gonna date her, or it's nothing. Oh yes, to some extent, yeah. Right, like a guy knows when he knows, and so- But so immediately, like you immediately know. I think we, yeah, I think pretty quickly we have an idea, but it's also like what input are you getting from the other side of things too, and that takes more time to right. figure true. out. That's true. Are you the type that, let's just say you go on a date with a girl and you really, really like her, are you someone that is going to unrelentlessly pursue that. Like, it doesn't even matter. You're going to try to see her as are many times as you Are week. you keeping it cool? I'm, I'm playing it cool, yeah. So I, I hate, hate your type. I hate that. <laughs> ditto, I'll tell you ditto, why. Because it's hard. Like, you're, you guys are going to have a much better success rate than guys would. Oh, I, with, I, I guess. But if you really want something, you go after. I get it. I get both ways. Well, that you know what it is? is because I've had both scenarios where in my head, when a guy is, I always think if he wanted to, he would. So even mm -hmm. if I don't text him, he'll definitely text me and make the plans because th there's no way he doesn't want to see me. Like, that's how I know that's my guy. But on the other hand, like, 
we could, once again, I'm not trying to put it in scenario. <laughs> Chris and I are dating, no. Yeah, uh, it's but saying, it all. Again, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're so, it's Go ahead, hypothetically. For, hypothetically, fine, I'm gonna use a random girl in the room if she was here. If you both were <laughs> into each other immediately, um, and it just seems like works, I'm wouldn't she it. overthink, like even if he was super into her and he, she, he wasn't being as, aggressive like this is my problem is that some guys are not that type and so i don't want to shut them down no quickly. i i see it both ways because women are so confusing they're so confusing and they always say that they want this type of guy but then really if you are pushy no. and reach out all the nope. time they're gonna say he's coming on way too yep. strong there's no mystery so there really there's is there's yeah. like there's no right answer in the situation i think there are like little things that a guy can do that makes it feel like an in between of the two. Mm -hmm. I would say you don't need to text them all day the next day after your first date, but I think a text that same night after you've dropped her off. Yeah. Girls love that stuff. Yeah. Like they remember that stuff. What do you guys like that girls do during this time? Cause there's a hundred things I can oh. say a guy does that I really like is after the date. I'll tell you one of my me. moves and you say if it's a good move. Okay. Okay. So say oh. we're in the middle of the week, right? And mm -hmm. also I, I watched this um, episode of Sex in the City and there's a Wednesday rule and you're not allowed to actually, it was One Tree Hill. It was One Tree yeah. Hill. <laughs> and there's a Wednesday rule where you're not allowed to accept a date from a guy for the weekend if he asks you after Wednesday. I agree with that. I kind of agree with that too. But not I in New York. That's it's, you that's know, because that's a last minute decision. But here's my move. Part. So say if I'm trying to casually start a conversation because I don't believe that the guy always needs to text first. I think that's kind of middle school. Um, I'll always say like, oh, have you seen this movie? Like I'll be like, have you seen the talented Mr. Ripley, for okay. example? And then you're going to be like, yes or no. And hopefully you say no. I'm like, oh, my God, I have to show it to you. It's so good. And then that way it just sort of like opens up mm -hmm. the next plan for you guys or yeah. or it just shows that you're thinking of them like, oh, yeah. you would really like this. Mm -hmm. This is after a date, you're saying? Or like after a couple, like two or three dates. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like you just be direct at that point, but right? it's, it's fun. Yeah. I, okay. I can't. I, my move sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I like to... Um, right off the bat, like compliment a guy on something very specific, first appearance wise, or just even third, second date. If they're wearing blue, I guarantee you they'll wear blue a hundred times after. Like a guy won't forget like a really good compliment. Like, oh my God, that blue really well, brings out your like, eyes. Girls and then like they don't the, think about it until then. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh wait, blue brings out my eyes. Girls like the really detailed, not commonly used compliments. Isn't it that guys like the physical appearance comp? Oh, obviously, and they like the intellectual. Girl, but if women like less, I mean, women like to be complimented by their appearance, but they like more of the no. But even if it's intellectual, like, deeper. No, it's like it, compliments. So I remember one guy you were talking to was like, "I really like your freckle right here," and you were just like, "Oh my god!" Like, oh yeah, like something that freckle. is so specific to only you. Yeah, you never forget that. No, I don't. I guess that's that's true. I guess also when a guy compliments my not intellect, but just something else other than physical appearance. But I do love a good compliment on my... my I have life. a question. Um, guys are always buying flowers for girls. Do you guys ever want us to buy you flowers? No. I Not really. Oh. Like, not really. <laughs> what are you going to do with the... <laughs> like, it'd be like, oh, that's nice, but like... Nah, it's just, it's such a cheat code for guys. I always said I always say this to girls. Like girls just go crazy for flowers you immediately. Oh, really? You can do. get them at the yeah. market for like six if, bucks. If a guy sent me a, actually a guy has sent me one time a really nice. He got you the flower. expensive ones. Yeah, and I lost my shit. I was like, yeah. wow. And I went on another hundred dates with him yeah. just from those flowers alone. And it was just because it was the thought. But I don't know. Is it bad for a girl to ask a guy on a like on a third date? Like for the girl to reach out no. first? No, I've had that happen on like second dates and I've really? went, yeah. Oh. Wait, so See, going I back to you playing it cool, how <laughs> long would you wait after? <laughs> how long would you wait after a first date to text her again? Like if it went well mm -hmm. and I want to have a second date? Um, I'd probably text that night or like next day, probably at latest, if I was serious about like going on a second date. Okay. Yeah. So you're not waiting too long? No. Okay. No, because yeah. I feel like it's kind of stale after that. I agree. Sometimes we'll go out with guys and they'll wait a whole week. And we're like, what? Oh, is this a I've moved question? on. Do you guys like first kisses after a first date? Oh, like, oh. 
Well, no. So, not, yeah. yeah. Yeah, usually. Well, I don't yes. know. I, well, sometimes. No, cooties. <laughs> not me. I don't like them. I'm them. like, you're a stranger. Stay away. <laughs> oh, God. No, thank wow, you. Wow, we just went to a whole relationship <laughs> Speaking of relationships, you know the this shirt just brought back a lot of triggers for me. What is it? Um, It's just some stupid band t-shirt, right? Okay. Why? Um, do you remember I was dating this one guy, and I had this habit of... I would always, none of my exes looked the same, had the same personalities. They all had their own aesthetic. And mm -hmm. I would try so hard for them to like me. So I would like conform <laughs> she to would. their aesthetic. So this one guy in particular, he was into like grunge, band. He kept saying girls with pink hair are so hot. What did I do? I Dyed my Get hair pink. Yeah, Bought literally. all these clothes. Wore only silver jewelry. Like only... <laughs> wore baggy outfits. Like, I wore Vans. I knew Cecilia was I wore dating Vans someone when every she day. changed her entire aesthetic. I, I looked like a was. skater boy. The like, pink I, hair is great. Like, I get hair. almost everything else. Like, the pink hair pink is hair. Oh, And like guess nuclear. what? He didn't even, like, <laughs> I didn't even like, care. And by the way, it was fried off, too. It was fried off. And get this. <laughs> get this. This is the best story. And it doesn't even bother me because I think it's so funny. Also, it was a very short relationship. Um, he would only message me through WhatsApp. And he's he lives in the U.S., from in WhatsApp or via email. And I was like, that's weird. And you told me that his iMessaging isn't working. Turns out, turns out, yet another girlfriend. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> turns out the whole time. They're so, and, I mean, um, that's like a clear indication, sustain the fact. That is crazy. The fact that she just ran on it and wasn't questioning that at all. I, by the way, if a guy ever said, message me on any other form other than iMessage, even other, okay, oh. if he was a European like guy in WhatsApp, but if he ever suggested any other form of messaging, I would question the why. The worst part and I is also too, would say no. The worst part is too, the way I found out was so gnarly and we weren't home. We were like traveling in New York and we were living in LA. So we were stuck in a hotel room for like the next two days after oh, that. It was horrible. Oh my God. Well, you can kind of just say the story without oh having to. Oh my God, to... it's the craziest story. Should yeah. I just say it? It's yeah. good enough Well, time. no, he doesn't watch this. Like literally, I wouldn't a, be surprised. You got rid of the pink hair. He's yeah. easy. Exactly. Way he's gone. Out. See, he's got a new no girlfriend. She's so pretty. Yeah, she's okay, <laughs> she's super hot. Like honestly, good she's for you. Really she's hot. fire. She's fire. Um, okay, so I'm dating this guy again. It's like not that long of a relationship, no. but I want to say I was 21 and he was what like 23 or four, and I was punching way above my weight class with this guy. Oh no 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 no. I was at the age where I was trying to figure out like my look and it wasn't like I think now I'm more secure with myself and I'm more confident and I know what I'd like to look like before I was trying a bunch of different things clearly and um, but he was perfection physically yeah, face wise he was, he was very pretty yeah, um, a little a little dumb but so nice. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so we're going well, out for a couple I, I, months. I'm so inspired to say that because he basically cheated. So Yeah. <laughs> so we're going out for a couple months, and I booked a job during New York Fashion Week in New York. Duh. <laughs> and so they were, one of the brands was paying for my flight, a hotel room, all yeah. the stuff. And I was like, you know what? This would be a really fun. Like trip to like, bring them on. Yeah, first trip to bring yeah. them on. It was going to be three or four days. I said, I'll buy your plane ticket and you can just stay with me in the hotel room. Red you flag number one. Out. I flew him you out, flew red him flag out. number one. Um, and he was like, okay, yeah, I'm down. First, the trip started horribly because we'd wake up in the morning and he kept saying every single day he has meetings and would just, for a good 10 hours of the day, I would not see him. We didn't do one thing together. We didn't see each other all day. So I was like, so weird. Come to two nights before I was about to leave and I was like telling him about my favorite restaurant, Little Frankie's. So good. So good. So romantic. I had the event for that brand that night. I had my hair and makeup professionally done. I was styled head to toe. So I was like, wouldn't it be so fun if we get a reservation at like 1130 at night? And we'll just get wine drunk and have a great time. I look fantastic. And he goes, yeah, OK, sure, whatever. So <laughs> this gets better, I promise. We go to the restaurant. We walk in, he seats us. For some reason, it was pretty empty. Like there was probably two other tables occupied, but for the most part, it was pretty empty. We get seated, take my jacket off. The waiter comes over. What kind of wine do you want? Order a bottle. Right then and there. <laughs> like not even 30 seconds after sitting down, he gets up so fast that the 
chair fell over and sprints <laughs> at the restaurant. <laughs> sprints. No, I'm not kidding you. I've, it's almost like, so like there bad. was lava on his chair and he like got up so fast and, and sprinted. And I was just sitting there like, what, like why? what, what, what just, wh where did he go? And so I told the waiter, I'm like, can you watch my stuff really fast? I'm gonna go figure out why he just left me in the restaurant. And he's outside, he's panting, he's pacing. His hands are on his head, he's freaking out. He's going back and forth up the block. And I was like, dude, dude, what the hell's going on? What are, what are you doing? He goes, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Sustine, I don't know what to do, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Like, why are you freaking out? What's going on? So it took about four minutes of that conversation to finally get what was really happening. He said, and for purposes of not naming the female, his ex-girlfriend, who was also his other girlfriend at the time. We'll call her Mary. She sucks. <laughs> no, she's nice. She didn't know. It was whatever. Maybe she did. I don't know. Um, I don't he goes, think she did. Mary's inside. And Mary lived in LA. So the odds of her being, being at that restaurant, that restaurant at that, at that night, night at 1130 at night. Crazy and the only other table that was pretty much occupied was her and another girl. It's a small restaurant, so by the way. So he freaks out. And then all of a sudden, the pieces started going together in my head. I'm like, you're freaking out because <laughs> you're still with her and you're on a date with me. <gasps> and who knows? Who knows what oh, you said or why God. you're in New York, right? <laughs> and they're stuck in New York together. And then get this gaslighting one-on-one. -on -one. This was my first baby gaslighting experience. He blamed me. <laughs> Because he says that he likes me so much, he just never knew how to tell me. And I was like, wait, that makes no sense. He liked you so much that he had to like go to yeah. another girl because he was scared. It made no sense. And then we land back in LA. It was a horribly awkward flight. Like I was sitting and then he would pass me in the aisle on the plane, not even look at me. I was like, what did I do? Yeah. What did oh, I do? That was so bad. So bad. That was so bad. So bad. Cut to two days after I land in LA, I'm walking on the beach. Do I see hand in hand? Them. Uh. <laughs> it is like the worst rom com. I almost just drowned drama. myself. Speaking yeah. of rom com. Oh, I was going to say. Thank you. Yeah. Speaking of rom com, Sistine and I, um, we love watching movies in our apartment. Like, especially love we it. love like having one that we've been looking forward to watching. And there was one that we were dying to watch, and it was Anyone But You. So it is the movie. I don't know if everyone's heard about it. It's the Sydney Sweeney, Glenn Powell whole drama fiasco people were like are they hooking up off set if she's Honestly, a fiance a genius he's a genius pr move to genius. pretend like they are hooking up and they had significant others yeah to promote the movie i know and i do think that i mean the main character glenn his girlfriend then broke up during that whole thing so people really mm. believed it at that point and then it come to find out obviously it was fake so we are excited we sit down we watch the movie um i i I hate to I hate to be rude, but that was by far one of the worst rom coms I've ever seen. I think Glenn did a good job, but the dialogue was awful. It was bad. The editing no, was Glenn awful. Glenn is the perfect like, rom com guy. 100%. Like he really is. He he's great. He's cheeky. He's funny. He's attractive. But the writing was off. I did not feel the chemistry from either of them no, at all I for some reason. That. You know what that's like? It's like Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes. You Those just two just it. did not like each and other. You, know what you could also, tell. I think my expectation was soaring about this. I thought it was going to be great. I heard the reviews and the, the drama behind it. Nada. So Steve and I actually looked at each other and we're like, where are the good rom coms today? They don't exist. They don't exist. I mean, there's some, like I would say, I, and that's not even a rom com. One day that new series that came out bawling like a baby when I finished that. But yeah, they're just not there anymore. Like nothing no. compares to Notting Hill, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, um, My Best Friend's Wedding, like nothing. It doesn't exist anymore. No. I don't well, know Well, I don't it think, is. I honestly think the only films that do well are Marvel movies. Like no one else is going to the yeah. theaters to see anything else. I know. No one's watching. I mean, it's, I think it also, maybe it was the characters at that time, like Matthew McConaughey, Kate Hudson. That's that, awesome. Julia Roberts was just the classic rom com lead, you know? What? Sandra Bullock was. I mean, Ryan oh Reynolds was. They, it's we, complicated. Hello. I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Meryl this was Streep, so. It, there was a one moment we watched it with our fr other friend too. We just looked at the screen and we kept putting our hands on our head. We're like, what? What was Again, that? Again, no. Awful. I know. I know. It had potential. 
but it just felt sped up. It just felt like it was undone. It didn't feel like they really. And it made like a hundred million dollars. Because the drama was genius. See, we should start drama so we can make a hundred million dollars. <laughs> I know. Like if that's what it is to spread a fake rumor about oh hooking up with someone, okay. Ooh, who should we spread it about? Well, me. But yeah. Like, with I who? Think way more fun. With who? Mm. Should we like start? Should it could be a celebrity. Like, they probably they don't have to know me. Sistine and Morgan Wallen are dating. No, something that would be more exciting. Maybe oh, that's not that exciting. I would no. be excited. I love Morgan Wallen. <laughs> maybe. How about? But you don't you don't like athletes. Jack so, Arlo. That's a great one, actually. Ooh, he makes me scared. I don't know. He makes you scared. I don't know, like he's just like <laughs> scared. Is like because he would ghost me. He would be the biggest fuck boy. Apparently, to me. he wants a librarian. You date him. You I did. I also happen to like books actually, too, Jack. <laughs> actually, <laughs> and I no, he love. wants a, he wants a nurse. He wants a nurse. You can buy the costume. Um, <laughs> God. <laughs> actually, I really think you guys would Does get he on. Shut no, up. I swear to God. I'm like so not. You his know what? Type. We're going to Miami soon. Let's stalk him. Let's see where he's at. And we'll just try to meet cute this. No thanks. And then I'll secretly film it. We'll make it a rom com and we'll sell it to Universal and we'll be so Stop. rich. Stop. I'm not. Jack Harlow is just. Are too you getting cool flustered? No. Yeah, you are. I just. It's, <laughs> you're getting all red. You just, like Jack Harlow? I'm gaslighting into thinking. G L A M. Come on. You no, can do it. I don't think I could. I don't think I have good game anymore. I, I'm just. I'm just. I'm actually really happy you admitted that. I just Because you've been saying your entire life you have the best I, game. I'm the best kisser. I have the best eye contact. I'm the best flirt. I'm really. No, I am. I am. Because it's subtle. <laughs> but I wouldn't say I'm the best, best flirt. I think I'm, I, I'm just a sweet flirt. Why don't you educate the listeners? That makes sense. What about you and kissing? Do you think no, I'm you elevate? No, I'm doing this again. No, no, but like one Stop. tip of like, how do you, I want to learn. This is informative. Like what's something you can do? I was just watching this TikTok of this girl and she's like, how to be an insane kisser. And do you know how many likes, it got like 900,000 likes. People need help. So like what's one like little hack or trick that you're like, this just elevates it. I hate you. <laughs> oh God. I'm a um, podcaster, I'm doing my job. I don't, uh, I think it's just, it's the trifecta of soft lips, hand placement and reading the other person's rhythm. Now do you do the triangle method? Is that the eye thing? Yeah, you look into the left eye. You look down at the lips. You look up to the right eye. Honestly, I just you know what it is. I just do the eyes. Look at eyes. It's so you look. Up, so you down, think when up. you look at I don't the need lips, to, like do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> make out with me. <laughs> He's like, are you, are you dizzy? <laughs> Spins. Yeah, no. I think the triangle. I think people have meant the triangle method as in like look in their eyes, look at their lips, and then like when you look back up at their eyes, you kind of give a very doe-eyed look oh like you're so innocent you're like oh <laughs> like, like, you want to um yeah that's my only tip so I you think you give doe-eye energy i yeah i will i've you do have, i give siren energy well your makeup you come off siren energy because you make it very cat like my when makeup i have I don't no makeup on i look dopey doe-eyed no. <laughs> like <laughs> i look so doe-eyed oh no you don't yes i do i look like sleepy but you, you should sleepy in the, the, the I, seven dwarves. You could look dope. I just don't put a lot of eye makeup on, and so that's why Pick my me. eyes look bigger. Pick me. Pick me. I, I don't wear makeup, so I that's just, why I, said I just eye like makeup. am pretty. But you told me I shouldn't wear eye makeup anymore. Okay, I'll tell you why. We went out the other night, and you were meeting up with a gentleman, and I was going dancing, and you come out and you look so hot, but you had so much eyeliner on. Oh, it was like, bad? No, it wasn't bad, but it was like the first thing I saw was just like you had reverse cat eye liquid and then you had it on top. And I was like, Sophia, you... This is what's <laughs> so annoying about Maybe sisters that are overly ghosted. sensitive. <laughs> no, this is... This is <laughs> are you saying that's why you got ghosted by him? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, She's shit. like, this is what I ordered and this is what I got. <laughs> <laughs> 30 day return um oh god no, i look dominate. but this is why it's you're sensitive um and you call me sensitive but the next day you were also going out and i just subtly said hey like you know you don't need to wear that much makeup you look so pretty without that much eye makeup immediately jumps down my throat what do you mean do you think it was bad 
You think it was bad? <laughs> what, you don't, what, you hated it? You hated it? What do you mean? What do you mean, right? And gets bad. Well, like, now no, I know I was no. right. <laughs> I was, but see how I approach it? Compliment sandwich. See? Compliment sandwich. And I was like, no, you looked really hot. But like, you're so pretty. You don't need it, right? <laughs> she comes up an hour later. She's like, look, I did less makeup. Uh, <laughs> Just say, you know what? Thank you. You're right. I, I did, don't need I that said, much. I no, know. you first went, <laughs> right for the jugular. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, God. Because I did actually remember that night I wanted to put more on just to kind of make it look more. You guys don't like that, do they? What do you mean? Like a lot of heavy eye makeup. It depends. I don't know. See, Ooh. that's that's. See, when a- I was grunge girl, I went black shadow. Yeah, you did go black shadow, pink hair, black shadow. I need to see a picture of the pink oh, hair. Oh, find it. Right? It's the pink so hair. Good. Find it. It's so so good. Oh my god, so embarrassing. Should we go into? Um... Oh my god, let's talk about Waze Daddy. Oh god, I no. Feel, I feel like I'm. Do you want to go into it? Because I can't really remember much about it. Have you? Okay, okay. Oh my god, this is crazy. Sophie and I were getting a little hot and bothered. <laughs> In an Uber the other day. <laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> Let me explain. Not and it's not because Sophia was flirting with me and sending me signals. It was something else. Okay, you know the app Waze? Yes. Okay. And um, they have the voice that can talk to you while you're driving? Yes. Okay, I didn't know, but you can change the voice. Like, just like you can with Siri. No, no, it gets better. Like, I promise. Everyone's like, duh. But it gets better. Like, so Siri, you can even do like a British person or whatever. So we were in the backseat of this car, right? Yeah. And all of a sudden we hear this like really like deep, sensual, like man speaking. We're like, oh. Oh, and he's like, stop, turn right, stop. We're like, yeah, whoa. He's like, he's like, keep going, keep going. I was like, going. whoa, whoa, whoa. I was yeah, like, it was the what weirdest is this? thing. So we asked the driver and he goes, oh, that's just the selection I chose. It's called Master Chief. Master Chief. That- Let me play it for you. Oh, you have it. Oh, yes. Just just a quick comment. I don't think Waze ever says keep going, keep going. I don't just by the way, just, we're just throwing that out there. <laughs> harder, harder. Don't stop. <laughs> don't, don't stop. Uh, Almost there. Okay, wait, let me find it. You <laughs> arrived. <I don't> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> him. Let me just see. But you're... See? Let's see? Looks like you're my ride. Not sure if you've got experience saving the galaxy, but you're about to get some. Uh, it's literally that Let's place. Let's go. Sierra 117 here. Destination confirmed. Potential contact for banished likely. I was. Ex- we take the fight to them this time, huh? Uh huh. Uh huh. A quarter of a mile. Turn left. Yeah. All right. We're, we were. <laughs> Do that's you see what, what I mean? And his thing was on full bl- blast, like <laughs> full volume, and we were thinking, "Is this a joke?" Like, it was. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, it just wasn't what I was expecting. It's, okay. it's got like ex-military. No, like, because type. apparently <laughs> they did a collab with Halo, the game. Oh, okay. So it's one of the oh, Master Chief on Halo. I looked it up. No wonder. Do you want to see what he looks like? He's hot. That game. Master Chief is hot. Also, Master and Chief. Like, okay, you need two titles. Okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh we made our driver very uncomfortable. Hard. Master Chief is hot. Oh yeah. He's hot. Yeah. Masked men. Wait, but do you want to see what he looks like without the mask? Wait, do you want to see what he looks like without the mask? Oh, no. Is he ugly? Is this an no. Like He's a catfish? Yeah, wait. No. I'm kind of scared because this is really creepy that we're thinking that a... Uh, He's not bad. An animation. He's not bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's master, not bad. Master looking good. Travis Kelsey vibes from, yeah, here. Yeah. from here. A little bit. A little bit. I think it's better looking A lot of girls <laughs> love that on TikTok, though. What? I'm seeing... Master AI? Or Miss Master Chief? No, no, like the the masked guys with the voice distortion. It's, oh, it's like yeah, a weird no, kink. it is a thing now. People are really into like, ghost. And, ghost. Yeah. Do you remember that guy? No, I have no idea. What you're yeah, a lot about. of people are into the masked men. Maybe we should talk about something wholesome. Okay. What do you have for me? Um, oh, want to hear something that's really cool? That I just got a confirmation from. Confirmation. I'm going to Hades Town tomorrow. What's that? The musical. By myself? No. I don't. I don't. What? 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 You know what, what is it? It's a musical. But what's it about? I don't know, actually. You love going to musicals alone. Alone. So much Jack Harlow would love that about you. Okay, stop. I just, I, I, I don't know. I've been liking doing the, that. I don't know if that's like an old person kind of thing for me to do. Oh. I just love going to sit at a bar, get a glass of wine, then like. 
trot on over to the show. <laughs> you really are. That is so your person. That's so Sophia Core to go to musical. I'm gonna bring my book. How about this? When read. her and her last boyfriend broke up, and she was hysterical, and she didn't know what to do. All she kept <laughs> saying while bawling her eyes out is, "I want to go see Phantom of the Opera." So we bought tickets to Phantom of the Opera. No, it was just an opera. Oh, it was just an opera, not even the good one. <laughs> Off Broadway <laughs> opera. For four and a half hours, I listen, I respect the opera. It's so incredible. But after four hours, I'm like, my head is hurting. It was so beautiful. But and like that's falling. what you want to do. Most people are like, I want to eat ice cream, I want to go clubbing, I wanna I drink. I wanted to go so to the like, opera. I want to go. Okay. And then my parents were in town at that time, so they took me. So it was just that's me and wholesome. the parents. Wait, Let's but see. going back to what you said, you're like, this might be an old person yeah. thing for me to do. I was thinking about this the other day because you always classify yourself as um, middle-aged or old or I don't know <laughs> what. <laughs> I don't know. 27. What, yeah, 27. Uh, what are old person tendencies that you find yourself doing unconsciously like sometimes you're just oh wait that's a really weird thing that I started doing oh I love going to bed by eight bed by eight okay red light mask yeah by eight with my little tea okay yeah I started carrying I don't leave my apartment without Nexium or any sort of heartburn medication. <laughs> is that like an old person thing to do? I, I do think a lot so. of old people have I think heartburn? so, but it's like now in my purse, I used to have so many other things. Now it's lip liner, my phone, my ID, and Nexium. <laughs> like that is that's like, that's trifecta. weird. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's so sad. Is there anything else you do? Oh, probably. Um, hmm. I love that. I shouldn't say. Okay, I'll say it. I don't care. Um, you know when you go into one of those zoom-in mirrors in your bathroom? Yeah. And it's one of those ugly nights? Because I always say the uglier you are when you go to bed, the more you're doing for yourself. I agree with that. You know? And I love to go in those zoom-in mirrors. And every girl gets this, okay? And you just have, like, a rogue hair growing somewhere on your face that shouldn't be there. Mm-hmm. And I just love plucking. I'll pluck away like a chicken. Pluck at all my feathers. Oh, my God. Oh, please don't act like you don't do that. I see your mustache from here. Shut oh. up. Yo. Shut up. <gasps> oh, yeah. You're going to sit there and me. I chose violence day. You just said I had a mustache? You tell me you don't have a hair that you pluck that's on your chin or something. No, I I, I do occasionally. But remember the, You know, I think mine grow fast, though, because I take a lot of biotin. You do take a lot of biotin. <laughs> I always get the weird, long, random white ones that pop up. That doesn't happen to me. That, you like, are old. One pops up here. One pops Wait, up here. Wait, what? Yeah, they're just like two inches long. What? Yeah. It, girls are crazy. It's so random. And, and I used to, there's just like one rapid one that pops. You don't notice it, by the way. It's so thin and it's so light. But I'll like do this and also I'll feel it. See, my rogue hair is like and truly mom called, Italian. Mom used to call it the prehistoric hair. <laughs> prehistoric hair. Mine's like, I say mine's an Italian prehistoric hair because it's like dark hair. <laughs> See, mine's all light. <laughs> okay. Well, I, because we're almost done, I have a funny thing I brought you. And I didn't. Sorry? I wrote this down, but I don't think you really knew what I was going to bring in so I'm on my phone because I've been I've been writing a little bit and a lot of my ideas I do on voice notes I'm scared and whenever I can't like I have to speak into it but I started just listening to my voice notes and I found something from like five years ago oh no I was cackling over so let me give context oh oh, I know this this is probably gonna be so bad so basically Sistine and I um this is pretty much (laughs) We're, we're doing the podcast, and we have a bunch of ads we had to read. We are out of town, and we— You're going to tell people this? <laughs> yes, but, I'm, but I'll explain. I was having really, really bad anxiety on this trip. Yeah. Really bad anxiety. So, we were in Mexico. So I took it upon myself to drink a lot to, like, relieve my anxiety. And Sistine comes in my room, and she says— and Also, I'm on vacation. Sue me. So he comes in and goes, Sophia, we have to get these ads done today. I go, what do you, what do you mean? And she goes, Sophia, we have to do voice notes and send in the ad you were, or else we're not going to get paid. You were so gone. It was bad. At one point, the eyes just rolled to the back of your head. And so I wanted to play some of the, the Oh, video this audio. isn't that bad. I thought you were going to say. Oh, no, not the other one. This is Sophia drunk and Sistine trying to get Sophia to do these ads and she can't stop laughing. Sophia and I love to have a good time, right, Sophia? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and although we love our tequila cocktails, Jesus Christ. 
Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes... <laughs> Sophia. Green... Green... <laughs> <laughs> Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company. Stop! <laughs> Green Chef is a... <laughs> we almost said just one of these. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well... Why are you laughing? I was just... <laughs> That's Wait. awful. Green Chef... <laughs> <laughs> awful so that that was just pretty bad that was a fun trip it was a funny trip and i i will say sistine pretty much had to dominate the you know what i found on these it, really guys go into your voice notes you actually forget a lot of the things on there um i had all of my singing lessons <gasps> on there Play, like five seconds. five seconds 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 Come on. It's too bad. We can delete it if it's bad. Oh my god, oh, this is so embarrassing. She's never this even been... sang in front of me. She was going G L. <laughs> I'm like, Jack Carla. <laughs> I can also sing and read. Oh, this is, this is so bad. I by the way, I'm not saying I'm a good singer. I just like singing. <laughs> no, I don't want to do it. Sistine, this is so bad. <laughs> Do it. Ah! Yeah, give us a little more. Hey, I'm I'm impressed. Pleasantly surprised. Really? Shut. All right, all right. <laughs> now you're showing. Now you're showing off. Now you're showing off. <laughs> now I got uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Sophia's like, wait, you guys like to let me turn it no, on? No, I'll be honest. When I listened to it, I was, yeah, I was so embarrassed that I even had these still on my phone. And I haven't sang in so long. Um, but yeah, I, but that is one thing I want to do this year is get back into singing. I like that. But by the way, stop saying you're bad at things when you're not. I, I honestly, if you look at, this is the thing. Why I liked listening to this was you saw the progression of how bad I was in the beginning to like after an hour of a lesson. You know when you repetitively go over the same song yes. over and over? Yeah. Yes. But things, guys, now you give me confidence. I'm going to go book my next oh, lesson. No. <laughs> now her ego is going to be so big. Stop. It's well, this was a big. roller coaster of an episode. I yeah. feel like we started off fighting and we ended singing. And that's fantastic. That's just, that's just we found out Chris just... plays games. Like, it's just <laughs> we learned. We found out Chris is a player. We learned so what much, and Sophia is still secretly. About? I'm still pining out for Chris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, our Instagram, and TikTok, all on Wax Podcast. Leave your ratings and review. Please ask your questions there, because I was just looking through it, and motherfuckers... You're not asking them. And we want to answer. Dude. <laughs> Love you. Bye. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs>